It's been way too long, but we finally know when the scythe is coming into Cold War. I am super excited about this. I feel like every single month we talk about the scythe. I'm glad just to get it here, get it over with, get it out of the way. On top of that, we've got some really cool season five leaks for both Vanguard and Warzone. And we've got a trial machine zombies update, which I'm super excited to talk about. As always, we're gonna be talking about everything in this video in a rapid style format. That way you can quickly watch this video and get right back in the game. If you're new here and wanna sub, I'd greatly appreciate that. And on top of that, I gotta give a huge thanks to everyone who's gonna leave a like and a comment. So for our first topic here, it looks like next season in season five, Vanguard is just going to be becoming Cold War. And this is a theme you're going to see as we go on in this video. So you guys know a couple days ago, we got the Vargo S in Vanguard. And this is just an earlier version of the Vargo, which was a DLC weapon from Cold War. We've actually got some leaked weapons for season five from Reality UK, who's going to be linked in the description. And these are currently in the code. The first one is the K gun, which is an early version of the Tech 9. So it looks like we're going to be getting the Tech 9 in Vanguard, which we also saw in Cold War, which was a DLC weapon as well, just an earlier version of it. The next one is the EM-1, which uh, the EM-1 is an earlier version of the EM-2, another DLC weapon that we saw in Cold War. So, so far, all the recent DLC weapons, we got the Vargo, the Tech 9 the EM-2, all these weapons were just weapons that were DLC weapons in Cold War and usually around the same time period too. These were all late game DLC weapons in Cold War. They're gonna be becoming late game DLC weapons in Vanguard. And there was also the FN-2000, which was obviously a gun from Modern Warfare 2 that doesn't really fit the theme. So very interesting weapons. So far, all three weapons that are in the code that we might be getting next season are get weapons from previous games. Not not World War II, which is the game that I thought they would have been bringing a lot of weapons from. And then after that, it actually gets even weirder. It seems like season five for Vanguard, they're just going crazy with it. They're throwing things all over the place, which I'm okay with. If this is the last season for Vanguard, I'm okay with just a little bit of craziness. There are four operators that were leaked in the code for Vanguard once again by Reality UK. We've got Menendez from the Black Ops series, which is interesting. Then we've got Rook from the Ghost campaign, which is such a weird thing to be seeing. Then we've got Al-Assad from the Modern Warfare campaign. And then we've got Seraph in the code from, you know, the Black Ops series, from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, one of the operator characters. And these are just all over the place. We got a Black Ops character. We've got a Ghost character. We've got a Modern Warfare character and a Seraph character. I guess the Modern Warfare character makes sense as like a pre-order bonus. But if these are going to be our all new operators, I mean, I do get it a little bit. I'm not the only one who just doesn't care about the new Vanguard operators. I'm not I'm not going to lie. I feel like every time they add a new operator, I just I kind of I don't really care. There's no new operators are adding that. I'm like, yeah, unless they're one of the crossover event ones. But, uh, you know, Menendez, the ghost characters, all of Saw and Seraph, I would be prone to potentially buying some of these, even if the bundle didn't look amazing, just because, you know, the kind of throwback. But it does seem to be all over the place. Keep in mind, just because these are in the code doesn't mean they're going to do anything with it. Sometimes they add things in the code to kind of test the waters and they end up going different directions and not using them. But as it stands, all four of them are actually chilling there in the code right now. And next, we've got something really exciting for Zombies fans. We've got the Trial Machine update. Once again, leaked by Reality K. They there is references to the trial machine from Cold War in Vanguard Zombies, meaning that we're probably going to be getting the trial machine in the next Vanguard Zombies map. But more importantly, I wonder if they're going to go back and add the trial machine to the older maps. This is something we saw with the Rampage Inducer in Cold War. Once they added it in, they didn't just add it to the newest map. They went back and added it to all of them. Once they bring all the code for the trial machine, it shouldn't take a ton of effort to add it to at least Shinonuma and maybe Durafong and the other ones. Maybe not those because those are the objective based maps with the main hub and all that. So it might not work that seamlessly, but at least adding it into Shinonuma would be a great update for that map, adding just a little bit more polish onto it. But I'm excited. I'm not exactly sure what all the challenges are going to be because there's not quite as many things to do in Vanguard Zombies. But I assume as rewards, we're probably going to get random weapons, which not much different than the mystery box at that point we're probably going to get armor which is going to be great for that some salvage i don't know how they're going to do the perks one of the rewards in cold war is that you get a perk and drink it however vanguard zombies has the tiered perk so maybe it'll just give you a plus one tier for any perk which would be super helpful for vanguard zombies getting that tier four perk is very expensive so being able to get a tier four of something for free would be extremely helpful with the trial machine and i was a little bit disappointed when we didn't see the trial machine they 
brought back the rampage inducer but the trial machine from vanguard or from cold war zombies was a really quick and easy way to get the wonder weapon on mo most maps and it added that extra replayability because now you've got three different ways to get the wonder weapon you could try the trial machine and that's going to take a little bit of time you could build it or you could get out of the box and that wasn't really a thing with vanguard zombie so i'm really glad we are going to be getting the trial machine back and hopefully we see this with the future game on launch because i do think it's something that i want to stay in every single zombies game moving forward keep in mind just because it's in the code doesn't mean it's going to be finished in time this could still get scrapped we've seen a lot of things in vanguard zombies get scrapped just because it is leaked and it is in the code doesn't mean that they might just not get it finished in time they might just decide against it but hopefully it does come because uh i really would like to see this in vanguard zombies and it looks like we might no longer be getting the dog slash wolf operator skin that they heavily promoted with season four loaded in vanguard and warzone they've actually gone back and updated all the blog posts where they showed this skin they've either photoshopped the new one in there or they've completely removed it which they almost never do that going back and updating older blog posts is not something we see call of duty doing especially with images well it turns out that actual operator skin was heavily kind of plagiarized or inspired by another skin from another artist and this is a post from them directly uh, their name is Salen. i probably butchered the crap out of that and originally when i looked at these images i was like okay that's quite a bit different but once you get the breakdown that they posted here these skins were extremely similar i mean we've got the little wire here that both of these have they both got a pack right here even the feet have the same ripple effects. The little cloth around them looks super similar. They both got knee pads right here. And at first glance, I was like, okay, that's just kind of a coincidence. But once you start breaking down all these coincidences, I mean, the pack looks almost identical. This little wire thing looks identical. How come they both only have one like elbow pad on the same arm? The little bagginess down here. And yeah, it is a little bit different, but even the patches i mean it just looks so freaking similar so, so i'm really curious on what's going to actually end up happening in this situation there's really three things that could happen one they could pay the artist for the rights to the skin that way they can sell it and have no issues with it they can either change it up even more and make it its own unique distinct thing they can make it an animal just maybe a different type change up the four collar make it you know its own unique thing or they could get the ravenoff treatment and be gone forever and we never end up seeing it ultimately it's not a huge deal either way i kind of like the idea of this skin it was going to be fun to run around as an actual dog in game kind of the first time we've seen something this ridiculous in the last few call of duties i know right now in warzone there's no way you can play as like an actual animal i think there's kind of zombie skins and stuff like that but this was going to be the first time you could be a straight up dog it was going to be one of the most ridiculous things we've seen but even if it doesn't happen i mean hey you know we're going to get warzone too soon we're moving to the new cod era you're not going to be able to keep this skin with you but it is interesting and i find it just it's kind of icky the whole situation that happened where it's almost a direct copy who knows what went on behind this scenes for this to happen so definitely let me know your opinions on this and if you even care if the skin eventually comes to the game or not and then finally for our last topic in this video we got the leaked august bundle schedule for cold war via codsploits on twitter which is going to be linked below there are actually only three bundles coming to cold war in august but all three of them are absolute bangers and one of them might contain something that you might have been waiting a few months for starting off on august 5th next week we are getting the void wilder bundle this is going to contain a reactive for an lmg and it's also going to have a pretty cool operator skin it's kind of like an alien slash zombie style skin we're going to be reviewing this next week if you want to see it looks pretty cool then on august 12th two weeks from today or whenever you're watching this it's going to be on a friday uh death approach bundle this is the modified version of the ravenoff bundle unfortunately ravenoff's no longer part of it he's been removed but this is a really cool bundle for zombies fan it's got a lot of dark aether bunny stuff in it and it's we'll review it when it comes out but it's a super freaking sick bundle and it does come with the scythe the newest dlc weapon in cold war meaning we're going to be getting the scythe on august 12th as well and you don't gotta buy the bundle for that you're gonna be able to unlock it for free obviously and it is a little bittersweet getting the scythe as far as we know this might be the last weapon we ever get in cold Cold War. they might not add any more past this point maybe we'll get one for season five but nothing's confirmed there's nothing in the code the last weapon we don't have in the code is the scythe so unless they add more stuff for next season the scythe could be it which i love getting and grinding new weapons in cold war so hopefully we get maybe one more but uh, i'm just glad we're finally getting the scythe then on august 9th we've got the data overload bundle which is a mastercraft for the street sweeper which looks super cool all these bundles are sick we're getting a new weapon we're getting a reactive and a mastercraft and i dude i've wanted a street sweeper 
Super Mastercraft for so long. This means all of the shotguns in Cold War, except for the newest one, the one that no one likes, the, the pump action shotgun. It's good for MP and zombies. It's absolute trash. But all the usable zombie shotguns are going to have Mastercrafts now, which is kind of cool. But with that, guys, I think it's time we go ahead and wrap this video up. Out of all the topics we talked about, the new Vanguard updates, the leaks for Season 5, the dog operator controversy, the leaked bundle schedule, and getting the scythe in Cold War, what are you most excited about? There's so many different things. We were all over with it. If you want to see any more rapid style news videos for any sort of COD game, whether it be Modern Warfare 2, Vanguard, Cold War, if we do end up getting a new weapon, make sure to sub to this channel because I'm going to keep you guys fully informed. If you love to like or comment on this video, I appreciate you a ton, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.